What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. Today, we've got another live fantasy football mock draft for you back on Fantasy Pros with a 12 team full PPR mock where we have got the second pick overall. Should be pretty interesting. And our roster, same as always, one quarterback, two running backs, two wide receivers, a tight end, a flex, and then five bench spots. But that's pretty much it. So let's get into it. And while we wait, a quick reminder, if you guys enjoy, hit that like button, subscribe, give us a follow on Twitter at all day pigskin to continue interacting with us there. Let us hear it in the comment section, your thoughts, along with any other questions you guys might have. We will do our best to answer them all. And make sure to check out the 2022 ADP Fantasy Football Draft Guide. It has everything you can want at a great value. Top 150 overall player rankings, standard and PPR formats, individual player bios, tiers, projections, along with general fantasy advice. All those details in the description. But with that being said, let's get into it. The first pick has been made. We're on the board. Jonathan Taylor, first overall. That's normal. That's going to be probably the case in, I'd say, 80 to 85 percent of uh, drafts, you know, even in PPR formats. I am of the mindset that if it's any type of PPR, half or full, it should be Christian McCaffrey. So you can probably figure out this pick is an easy one for me. I'm going to go with McCaffrey here. I would have gone with him first overall. Yes, I realize the risk, but the upside, I'm an upside guy and it is too juicy to pass up. So uh, let's see what happens in the next couple uh, of selections here, though. We're going to break it down. Let's look at our draft board and see if there's anything crazy that took place. So after McCaffrey, you see Derrick Henry, Najee Harris, Cooper Cup. Austin Eckler goes to the 106. I don't want to call that insane because, I mean, Derrick Henry, Najee Harris, they're ranked as top 10 guys, but typically you're seeing Austin Eckler be a top three pick at the running back position, full PPR scoring. Uh, Cooper Cup at the 105, so our first wide receiver. Then Dalvin Cook at the 107. Ooh, Leonard Fournette at the 108. That's spicy. Uh, I know there's some people that are really high on him, but me personally, I'd prefer Joe Mixon. I'd prefer DeAndre Swift, Aaron Jones, potentially Kamara, depending on the, uh, on the suspension. Uh, and then after Fournette, Mixon, Swift, you see two more wide receivers. In fact, a run on the wide receivers with four straight Jefferson, Jamar Chase, Devontae Adams, Stephon Diggs. So the top five wide receivers all off the board. Uh, I do think there is a drop off afterwards. Uh, you see Travis Kelsey at the 203, so him going in the second round. Nothing too crazy there. That makes sense. Nick Chubb at the 204. I wouldn't draft him this high in a full PPR format. That's just me. Um, then C.D. Lamb. You see Josh. Ooh, okay. So probably the first kind of eye-opening pick, Josh Allen at the 206. That's way, way too early. Now, I'm not saying, you know, it's not going to happen because I know some people, you know, less experienced drafters uh, in, in your home leagues, there might be a quarterback being drafted in the second round. But uh, usually, I'd say most people by now know to uh, address running back and a wide receiver in the first couple of rounds, maybe even a tight end, if it's an elite one like Kelsey or Andrews. Uh, so Debo Samuel then, uh, Alvin Kamara, Aaron Jones. Oh, bummed out. We missed out on Aaron Jones by one pick. Ooh, that hurts. But, but we can get Saquon Barkley, and that makes me feel a little bit better. So let's not waste any time. Saquon Barkley, welcome to the squad. And then next two picks were Javante Williams and Tyreek Hill. So here we could, if we wanted to, go with uh, another running back in Ezekiel Elliott. I'm guessing Travis Etienne wouldn't get back to us. So um, if we want to go another running back, this is the time to do it now. I'll probably go Ezekiel Elliott, honestly, uh, or we could go again with ETN. If I went wide receiver, it would probably be Mike Evans or Keenan Allen. I'd be leaning Keenan Allen because of the PPR aspect and because we don't know what's going to happen with God and whether he comes back or doesn't. Uh, but I think the middle rounds are awesome spots for the wide receiver position this year. So I'm going to go with Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, you know, I know that we've already got two very good running backs. Whoa. And something that I did not expect to happen, just took place. That is Travis Etienne dropping to us in the fourth round. Let's see why that happened. Obviously, if I knew that that was going to happen, I wouldn't have drafted Ezekiel Elliott at the 302, but them's the breaks. So Mike Evans at the 303, Kyle Pitts 
Keenan Allen, A.J. Brown, Antonio Gibson way too early. D.J. Moore, Antonio Gibson should be going so much later than this. Uh, it's not even funny. Uh, then Deontay Johnson, David Montgomery, Cam Akers. You see T. Higgins. Uh, let's kind of expand this a little bit. Cam Akers, another guy that should be going later. Um, T. Higgins, Patrick Mahomes, Darren Waller, Waddle, Chris Godwin, D.K. Metcalf. Um, these guys should be going later. Godwin, you still don't know about the injury situation way too early. But again, that's why it matters what platform you draft on. Um, Justin Herbert, Josh Jacobs, Brendan Cooks, and Michael Pitt. Wow, Michael Pittman at the end of the fourth round. I probably would have gone with him there. So wide receiver Terry McLaurin is still there. Wow, that's a really good value. So what I'm thinking right now is, you know, I'm I probably look. This is the tough part. If I ignore Terry McLaurin and I draft Travis Etienne as much as I love him, um, then probably, you know, whoever I draft, the other probably won't be available to us. It is what it is. Um, so, yeah, let's. Oh, actually. Oh, man. People are really, these bots are really testing my uh, love for Travis Etienne and then also my love for putting together a solid, balanced roster. I might throw caution to the wind and just go ETN here. I honestly, I, I will, I will. It's it's not going to give me the highest draft grade, but screw that. I'm taking Travis ETN. I know the value. I'm not going to ignore it. Um, we could have gone Allen Robinson. He is somebody that I absolutely love, and I know we're going to take a hit at the wide receiver position. But these running backs, folks, McCaffrey, Barkley, Zeke, Travis ETN. Oh my gosh, that foursome is absolutely scary. Uh, let's look at these other picks. If anything crazy happened, George Kittle, um, Amari Cooper, Brees Hall, J.K. Dobbins, Hopkins. Oh, come on, folks. Hopkins, he's suspended for a third of the season. Shouldn't be going that high. A.J. Dillon, Kyler Murray, Elijah Mitchell, Clyde Edwards, Alaire, Lamar Jackson, Damian Harris, and then the stud middle round wide receivers Marquise Brown, Darno Mooney, uh, Allen Robinson, Elijah Moore, um, you know. Rashad Bateman is still there for us, so that's going to be a pretty quick draft, um, you know, smash of the button, I, I would imagine. Let's look at the wi other wide receivers to see that, you know, nothing crazy. We're not missing anything crazy. At tight end, I can continue to wait at this point in time. So here, ideally, I'm going to get Rashad Bateman and Juju Smith-Schuster. Come on, Juju, come on. Yes, we get lucky. So Juju is still there. I like that. Quarterback, I'm going to wait on. Let's just look at our cheat sheet to see if I'm forgetting about any wide receivers here. There's Hunter Renfro. I have Juju. I've been getting higher and higher on Juju Smith-Schuster as of late. I'm going to draft him here ahead of Renfro. So yeah, let's go with Juju here. And little by little, we're building out our wide receiver depth. So I feel good about that. Um, and now we can potentially look at tight end. We can look at quarterback if we need to. You know, it is a 12-team league. So uh, the quarterback position is going to be not quite as deep, but it's still, you know, uh, pretty uh, pretty deep uh, with that being said. How many teams have a quarterback at this point in time? I would say everyone other than me and the individual right after me at the 101. So we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot, honestly. And looking at wide receivers, Alan Lazard, unfortunately, went... Um, it is what it is, you know, um, running backs. Let's see if there's anything tempting here. I mean, Tony Pollard to get your handcuff for Ezekiel Elliott. That's kind of tempting. I'm not going to lie. Um, quarterbacks. I mean, I know another quarterback won't be selected. So whether it's Matthew Stafford, Lance or Derek Carr, I feel perfectly fine having one of those guys be my, uh, starter. I'm probably just going to go with a tight end here. Honestly, I, I, I need a tight end. And whether it's Goddard, Zach Ertz, Cole Kmet, uh, I could see there being a run on the position uh, at some point in time, you know, getting backups, whatever the case might be. I'll go Dallas Goddard here. Let's just grab him and then see what happens afterwards. There goes Tony Pollard. So, yeah, that was to be expected. Quarterback, there's no real stacks here. I'm looking at it. Um, you know, Stafford, Derek Carr. So... I, I just say get the guy that you're highest on, get the guy that you think highest, you know, I'll probably actually get two quarterbacks. I might get a little bit, uh, get one safe guy and then get a guy with 
a really high upside that I like. So uh, I get Matthew Stafford here. Uh, we could have gone another tight end, um, you know, because there was a run on them. I'll show you that right now. Um, just scrolling down through here. That probably was what we should have done. We should have done a little bit of a uh, backup or tight ends, uh, especially since Dallas Goddard, you know, he's not a for sure top five guy. Um, so we could have gotten a, a Colk Met who I really like, but it's okay. We decided to go this route um, to kind of round out the roster a little bit quicker. Um, and then a bunch of backup running backs. Melvin Gordon, wow, lasting until the 10th round. That's really, really good value, um, you know. But right now, let's get back to it. Let's look at our cheat sheet. Daryl Henderson, I think, is honestly a good pick at this point in time. And you kind of see him as the top uh, suggested player. I think he could very well outproduce um, Cam Akers. So let's just take a shot on Daryl Henderson. Um, I don't mind that there. Now, wide receiver, I guess Kadarius Toney, highest upside here that's left. Um, tight ends, um, I'm just going to wait. So I'll go Kadarius Toney, and then we're going to wrap it up with one final selection here to go. And let's see who it'll be. I might get a second quarterback if if there's one that I like. Derek Carr, Derek Carr is the guy. It was going to be Trey Lance. Uh, potentially, but no, we're going Derek Carr, and we get an A grade, so I like that, you know, um, don't get too bad of a ding for going Travis Etienne, uh, getting four running backs, but we get McCaffrey, Barkley, Zeke, and Etienne, I love that foursome, no better running backs that you're going to find, wide receiver, we got Terry still, great value, Bateman, Juju, so three decent wide receivers, I would say, high-end wide receiver twos, I think we got good value on Henderson, Tony, and we got two good tandem quarterbacks in Stafford and Derek Carr. But let me know your thoughts in the section uh, or in, of this draft, uh, how you think it went, along with any other questions you guys might have. I probably won't, you know, give this a full A. I think our tight end could have, situation could have been a little bit better. I'll probably give it a B plus, A minus. But again, um, hopefully, most importantly, it was helpful for you guys. Uh, if you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe. Give us a follow on Twitter at All Day Pigskin. Make sure to check out the 2022 ADP Fantasy Football Draft Guide, now available for purchase. Those details in the description. In the meantime, we'll see you guys in future videos.